Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna take you on a little tour of Seneca College, the Newnham campus. But it's closed today because today is Sunday, so I'm just gonna like show you around like the building. And I'm also gonna show you what food places or like banks and like what types of like places are around Seneca College if you would like to know. So let's go. This is Seneca College and right over here is the A building and then if you walk down here there's another entrance and this is the designated like smoking area where you can smoke on campus. What's good about this is that you can put your cigarette butts in here and this is where like you can dispose of them so you don't have to like put it on the ground here. So yeah this is the A building entrance another entrance and then i'm gonna walk in from this side this leads to the c building entrance so this is like the bus stop area so yeah this is what the c building looks like the entrance right here and then to your right is the new seneca college building this wasn't here when i started college so this is crazy I haven't actually been in it like all all of it. I've been in like a couple parts of it, but pretty cool. It's very new. And it's called Center for Innovation, Technology and Entrepreneurship. So that's the entrance. Down the steps, it's also the K building. So this is a close up of it. This is the entrance. Pretty cool. Over here. I want to show you the nice Seneca College sign. It's so pretty. I feel like every college or like school should have a sign. It's good for like new students to take a picture in front of. So yeah, it says Seneca. And also there's like a seating area behind it where you can sit. There's like seating over here. There's like where you can lock up your bike over there. Also here is like the three flags hanging up. And I've actually never been down this path here, but let's see where it leads me to. I'm guessing it leads me to the parking lot. Such a nice little path. So yeah, looks like it leads me to the K parking lot and also like the residence building right over there. So if you keep walking down, this is the residence building. I'm gonna like get a little closer so you can see where it is. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It has a Seneca sign on it. There we go. And the entrance to get in is right over there. And yeah, that's how it looks like. So I'm gonna walk back, but I wanted to show you the K building a little close up. And I'm gonna go up these stairs. So if you look to the right, inside this part is like a student lounge where people can have like their lunch. See inside where people can have their lunch. There's like a bunch of chairs and stuff. A good area to have your lunch. It gets pretty noisy in there. So I wouldn't like be studying, but that's how it looks like. And then I'm gonna go up these stairs here. And this is like the main area here. The main foyer, foyer, I guess. So next I'm gonna show you this little park area or like forestry here. Careful, watch your step, it's very steep. And like students, you can sit here and just chill. I don't think these are actually meant as stairs. There's actually like stairs right there. But yeah, this is a nice chill spot. I think I'll actually take the stairs here. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And my favorite part about this building is this. You can see it from like the C building here. It's like a nice tunnel here. So this is what it looks like. And then if you go this way, I'll show you. This is a little seating area. I think this is like the cafeteria. I'm actually not sure. Pretty cool. Yeah, the tables are so cute. And then it leads you over here. And the big dome is over there. Sorry, my finger. <laughs> And then what's good to note is this is like the child care center. So they do have daycare, I believe. And then I'm going to take you over here. 
and show you like the pathway. So over here, sorry, I haven't been here in a while, is where you can gain access to the residence as well. And so this is what it looks like on this side. So there is a subway inside, there's a food market and that's what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. There's a subway right there. Um, there's like a food market right there. And then I'm gonna take you to the dome next. Well, I'm gonna show you more of a close up of how you can get there. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. You can take this path um, or you can go over here. And there's like stands right there where people can sit. If it like, I don't know if this thing opens. I think so, but I mean, it would make sense because there's seating here. So yeah, that's the dome. I have no idea. I think this leads to the parking lot. So I'm not gonna go that way, but yeah, that's the dome. So this building right here is the other, like the back side of the SSF where like student events happen. And then I also want to show you the emergency blue button. So if you do have an emergency and you're walking alone, or if you just want like a security guard to come with you in the nighttime, you can always press that. This area right here is also where you like wait for shuttle buses, like this area here. People usually line up, if there's a long lineup, they line up along here. And then let me show you this way where it leads to the other side of the Noonham building. So right over here is the A building. And then this is another entrance to the A building. And actually over here is where the fire protection, like the firefighters who study here, I think this is where they train. It says that on the, let's zoom in, on the building. And this is just the parking lot. And then here's another entrance to the A building. And then if you walk down this way is another entrance to the B building. Actually, I, didn't, I don't think I showed you that. So this is the entrance to the B building. This is what it looks like. And actually, if you go this way here, there is a hot dog stand over here. So if you ever need like lunch or anything, I haven't like tried them out before, but I will one day. Also, this is the D building. So if you look inside here, this right over there is like where the financial aid office is, OSAP. And this is where people wait and they have like a ticket. And then this is the view from the D building. Ooh, so this is actually the urban farm. I didn't know we had one. Pretty cool. And then over there, I'll actually zoom in. That is the sports center. And that is where the gym is located as well. This is the view from up here. And then also I noticed they have this, which is really good. This is where you can donate clothing, um, use clothing. They have some like near my, like where I live. So it's really good that they have one on campus. I didn't know they had one, but yeah, this is what it looks like. So I am just gonna walk down this way and show you like the other parking lots. There's one right there. There's one right there, obviously. So, and then right there is where you can get like parking information and i'm guessing like the parking officer or whatever is in there i'm gonna take you down here to show you what's around here i mean show you what's here like here <laughs> so here is another parking lot there is another parking lot um, and then over there is another parking lot and next i'm gonna show you this side of the dome yeah, so there's tons of parking space. It fills up though when people are at campus and, you know, professors, students, all of that. Yeah, I'm just going to show you the other side of this. And also there are some willows here. I think they're willows. It reminds me of when I used to go to like my cottage as a kid. They used to have these. Just reminds me of like the countryside or, you know. So, welcome sign, of course. 
and then oh i might as well show you how to like the parking instructions park your vehicle blah 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 pay at pay station the parking rate that's what they are and yeah oh they're blowing away or they're blowing in the wind <laughs> so let's show you the sports center so they have a cool flashing sign here very cool yeah so this is the other side of the dome oh wow so they have like seneca college bands if you can see it has a seneca sign on it and then of course the seneca bus over there so yeah i'm gonna show you the other side of the dome pretty plants here character leadership excellence this entrance to the Seneca Field, home of the Sting, because our mascot is, I believe, a hornet. So, yeah, this is the entrance. There's some more bleachers, basketball, beach volleyball, tennis court entrance. Very cool, a nice sign. And yeah, so this is the other side of the dome. So I think I have pretty much showed you everything like the outside of Seneca College and like where places are. So next I am going to show you like the food places, banks, and like what other places are around Seneca College. I lied, I am going to show you this side to get like this side of like where the gym is. So a nice seating area here with plants, of course. And yeah, this is the other side. Or this is a close-up of the sports center from this entrance or this exit, I guess. And now I'm gonna go walk this way. There's Canada geese here. I thought they were statues. Whoa, 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 whoa. They are so beautiful and they're just chilling. Oh my gosh, that scared me. I thought they were statues because they were so still. Okay, let's take you this way. So yeah, so that is where all like, that. this is the fitness center. Um, let's walk this way. Some seating area outside. I showed you this part from up there, but I'm gonna show you it on the ground level just because I also have to walk back. So, so the urban farm is right there looks like this okay so that is it for this little tour now i'm gonna show you what food places are around here and just like places in general so next i'm gonna show you what's around like the park that's around the parking lot over here so this is the park here and then if you go up here there's a ping pong table i can already see it there's a ping pong table, there's a playground, there's also a tennis court and a basketball court. I'm not going to really show it because there's kids, but I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. There's the playground. So yeah, there's the basketball court and the tennis court, which is over there. So if you walk up this way to Don Mills, there is an RBC bank if you're with RBC. Um, there's a no frills there. And there was a Pizza Hut, I'm guessing they're under construction or whatever. Pizza Hut is really good. So I'm gonna take you closer over here. So no frills is a grocery store. So that's where you can get groceries. Um, there's also a Rexall drugstore here. And then I am with TD Bank, so there's like TD Bank here. So down here, there's a Service Canada right there. Um, cleaners there. And then because I'm with Freedom Mobile, oh, there's also a hair stylist place here. There's the Freedom Mobile place here. And then there's a nice like breakfast and brunch place here. Um, Faux Vietnamese place there. Convenience store here where they sell flowers. Um, there's an eye clinic here and Subway, I go here all the time, right there. And then this place is also good too, the Japanese place. 
and then just no frills up here and then coming out of the no frills here there's a mr lube here there's a gas station the gas station has a convenience store and they also have a tim hortons really which is really good because um we have a tim hortons on this side and i always go there <laughs> so yeah that's where it is right here and then i'm gonna show you the park on this side where you can just like chill away from people so this is the park that is across from the tim hortons so there is a pathway here and then the playground here and then there's like this nice field space here if you ever want to like get away from the college and have a little quiet time so that is the end of the tour i'm pretty sure i showed you everything and like all the food places and stuff around seneca college so if you have any questions you can always ask me in the comments and i am gonna head on home now so i'll see you guys in another video